everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2017 movie Hex. Um, the movie is written and directed by George Popov and uh, Jonathan Russell. Um, and Jonathan Russell himself wrote me on Facebook. He's actually in one of the Facebook groups I was in and asked me uh, if I'd be interested in reviewing this movie and everything and I watched it last night and I really really enjoyed this movie I thought it was a lot it was a really entertaining movie um, so the movie is about uh, two soldiers in the English Civil War who get trapped in these woods controlled by a witch um, and I thought it was a very entertaining movie that the two main cast members uh, Daniel Olroyd as Richard and William Young as Thomas were both very good actors. I thought they did a really good job in the movie. I think that uh, Daniel Olroyd was a little bit better, but I think they were both really good in this. And uh, this, was, this was a pretty entertaining movie. It is a slow burner and everything, but I, I really enjoyed it. I think it was a, probably one of the best slow burner movies that I have actually seen. And everything, because I'm I'm not a huge fan of slow burner movies. I'm getting to where I like them a lot more now than I used to. But uh, I thought this one was just a really really good one. Um, and the the cinematography in this movie by Harry Young is absolutely amazing. I love has some of the best cinematography I've seen in a long time. Um, and the the score by Nino Russell is really good too. Uh, it brings a sense of, of dread throughout the whole movie and it, it's perfect for this movie and everything. I, I was really impressed with that too and the, sa the sound editing and stuff like that is done really really good too. I thought I thought that, that was really good and I can't wait to see what uh, the next movie that Jonathan Russell does, I think I think that they did a really good job directing it as well. Um, both of them, I can't wait to see their next movies. Um, Susie Francis Garton plays the witch, and she does a really good job too. She, she's they don't show her a lot. Like most of the time, she's like in the shadows of the movie. And then when we finally get to see her at the end, she she's really good. And everything, and she's creepy and stuff throughout the whole movie when she's in the shadows and stuff. And like I said, between the way they have her in the shadows being creepy and the score, it just just kind of has an unsettling feel to it. And I really like that about this movie and everything. And it just was really entertaining. Uh, I would definitely recommend it to horror movie fans and everything. I thought this was a really good movie. Um, when I went into this, I was kind of expecting it to kind of be like The Witch by Robert Edgers and everything, but I actually think I enjoyed this movie more than that one. Um, this was just a really, really well-made movie and everything. And it's, uh, there's just not a lot I can say about it that I haven't already said. It just is a lot of a lot of fun. The set designs and. Uh, Everything is done really well. The practical effects that they use, the makeup, everything about this movie was just spot on, really well made, and everything. It's a really underrated movie, and I definitely think that I would recommend it to more people because it's definitely worth seeing and everything. But um, I, I'd give Hex an eight out of ten because it, it, it's really entertaining and everything there wasn't really anything about it that I didn't like although I would have liked to see maybe a little bit more of the the war that was going on and everything but I also like that these two characters who have to be on opposite sides and stuff have to band together to survive this witch and everything I, I like that about about it and I think the character development was done very very well too in this movie and everything so uh, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 and I, I definitely would recommend it to horror movie fans or just people who like these type of movies and stuff so 
um, it's definitely worth checking out and I, I look forward to seeing whatever uh, George Pope Pov and uh, Jonathan Russell do next and thank you very much for recommending me to review this movie and everything and I really did enjoy it a lot I thought it was very good and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody this is the song that doesn't end oh, no. yes it goes on and on my friend that's enough guys some people started singing it not knowing what it was and they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end how do I turn you off